Hello YouTube, Zach and Fianakonite here, and I figured why not do this video outside. It's been a while since I last recorded outside. I kind of missed it. I mean, yeah. Mask lift finally happened here in Cali. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh God, irony. So anyway. This is um, something that I already endeavored a while back, a couple years back, actually. Uh, you may remember it as uh, the <clears throat> Lost Tapes-inspired Wendigo. And if you don't know what the hell Lost Tapes is, well, have you been living in a cave yourself? I mean, good God, man. It's one of the coolest found footage. One of the only, apart from maybe Blair Witch Project, found footage movies that I think pulls it off pretty well. And it's not even a movie, it's a show. So, um... Yeah, there's just that much more of it, and as uh, admittedly cringy as some of the either first and or last episodes of the show were, the middle ground would have had to have been season two, roughly. Um, yeah, no, it's um, just generally a fun show, and uh, uh, there's something in it for everyone, uh, whether you like bad acting or just the cryptids or whatever else have you, um, that's what this is based on. And I think I did it better now than before, understandably. My technique has just improved. But, um, yeah, I'll put the montage as well as my inspiration here. And I don't think I have any photos of it yet, if at all, but I took it a step further since uh, I didn't want to get too bloodied up, uh, especially not with any, well, apart from maybe this fake blood, but um, <laughs> uh, I also have this necklace here that I made out of uh, real bones, but fake blood. Uh, the turkey necks and a few uh, wing bones. I don't know, man. I, I just think... Um, I just think this works. I mean, it's supposed to be a cannibal anyway, so for all we know, these uh, vertebrae are so small because, I don't know, maybe he ate a baby. That could happen. I mean, Matthew Gall, he was a bit of a dick, but uh, one thing that's pretty mysterious about him is that despite him being the lead of that episode, uh, the actor was never really credited. Even on IMDb, you look around, it's like this guy doesn't exist. I hope he's not dead. Or a dick in real life. I mean, that would suck hot shit through a straw, but... Uh, my One of my favorite uh, parts about this, apart from maybe making the headdress itself, would be the axe, since it's just so fucking simple of a build. This is literally just cardboard and masking tape and paper mache. I didn't even use hot glue for this, at least uh, well, what's a little off-putting is that you can kind of see the corrugations in the cardboard along the axe blade, but that's really only if you're uh, looking for the flaws, because if I'm swinging this around like you saw earlier, it's just... Um, it's, it's just a really good looking prop. This is the main attraction here, though. This is the skull headdress thing. Now, OG Wendigo mythology never said anything about them looking like half deer, half whatever the hell. But I think what was so creative about the Lost Tapes take on the legend was... Uh, and he doesn't just do this with himself. He kind of uh, decorates the whole forest with a bunch of animal remains. And this literally started out as just a piece of chipboard that I bent and warped and taped and twisted a certain way. 
and the inside of it is literally yeah I, I didn't even I didn't even do anything to it and it was like an elastic band so that I can flip it up and I sewed it and hot glued it to the inside I don't know how well you can see that yeah you can kind of see it now but yeah it's all sewn together and hot glued I even put ears on this thing Look at my massive rack. Um, and then uh, there's this, which is just the gen general generic plaid shirt, you know. His was a little more red, but I don't know. I just, um, I don't know. This is still worlds better than the one I had last time, which was blue. I was going for a more um, ice monster themed thing. I don't know. If it works, it works, but... This is the way I did it, so if you like, please like, feel free to share your obscure little thoughts in the comments below, as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more, don't forget to hit the bell if you do, and as always, thank you so very much for watching, and I love you all.